All right. Sounds great. Let me go ahead and share my screen. You guys can hear me clearly, obviously, right? Because you guys have been interacting back and forth. I just want to make sure that you guys hear my audio correctly. So thank you guys once again. Yeah. It is September 18th. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So September 18th, 10.05, Monday, ready to get started up and power up. And we're going to be doing the market update as well. So just as a quick reminder, I'm going to do a quick reminder here of things that I think are very important as you guys are leaning into this conversation today. So first and foremost, remind you know everybody to be present, bring your full attention to the room, eliminate distractions, and stay with the conversation. Engage and drop insights. I want you guys to drop insights when you guys are hearing something that's a nugget for you. You may have heard something for yourself that has made a difference. So I want you to write it out. That way everybody else can get value. And understand how you do anything is how you do everything. And remember this message today is specifically for you. Even though there are many of us in the Zoom today, this message is specifically for you. So thank you guys so much for being here. So are we ready? Yes, 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 yes. All right, cool. Everybody's ready? I don't see anybody like lighting up the mics or the chats. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Always ready. Let's go. All right, Mr. Sonny. I heard Mr. Sonny in there. Let's go. All right, cool. Sounds good. So Today's conversation is going to be about maximizing your business with multiple pillars. So I'm also going to invite you guys to unmute yourselves um, here during the affirmations because I typically do these affirmations and I'm like, I can't even hear you guys. I'm like, and I heard Gabe do this earlier this week. It's like, unmute yourselves, right? I want to hear you guys say the affirmations too. So feel free to unmute yourselves and let's all say the affirmations together. So we're just going to get started up, right? So one, two, three, power up. One, two, three, power up. Power up. Power up. Power up. One, two, three, power up. All right. High energy equals high income. High energy, high energy equals high, high income. income. Every day and every way, I'm getting better and better. Every day and every way, I'm getting better and better. Every day and every way, I'm getting stronger and stronger. Every day, every day, and every way, I'm getting stronger and stronger. Every day, and every way, I'm getting smarter and smarter. Every day, and every way, I'm getting smarter and smarter. All I need is within me now. All I need is within me now. I sign a new listing today. I sign a new listing today. I open a new escrow today. I open a new escrow today. I am a magnet of opportunities. I am a magnet of opportunities. I'm a top producer. I'm, I'm a, a top, top producer. producer. I'm a master negotiator. I'm a master negotiator. I have perfect health. I have perfect health. I was born to win. I was born to win. I will always keep growing. I will always keep growing. I was born to be great. I was born to be great. Today will be the best day of my life. Today, Today will be the best day of my life. No matter what. No matter what. Let's go. Let's go. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you guys for uh, for participating full out. I really appreciate you guys. So now, with this energy, because you guys can feel the energy, right? When you guys, you guys got to understand the high energy equals high income. That's facts. You guys step into a, a in a building. You guys step into a conversation. You guys start talking to a buyer. That energy is magnetic. So now I want you guys to get tuned into gratitude, right? Because this is something I talk about all the time, about a powerful morning routine. So I want you to just get present right now. You guys can close your eyes if you're able to do so or just feel it. I want you to feel the gratitude. I am so grateful to be alive. I am so grateful to hear. I am so grateful to see. I am so grateful to feel. I'm so grateful to breathe. I am so grateful to think. I am so grateful to be. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. And fill in the blank. What are you grateful for this morning? Get tuned into. There's so much you could be grateful for. I was uh, blow dying my hair this morning. I was like, oh my God, I'm so grateful for the electricity. I'm so grateful for electricity. We take that for granted so much. All right, so... Thank you guys for playing full out. Now, I want you guys to do a quick little visualization exercise. Now, take a moment and also close your eyes if you can. And I want you to visualize yourself, you know, signing those contracts, like right, signing those listing, like meeting with that seller and, and, and visualizing yourself being in massive rapport. Visualize yourself, you know, getting wires directly into your bank account. 
Visualize yourself receiving phone calls with positive, excited, happy buyers and happy sellers. I want you to visualize yourself stepping into your greatness. And I want you to take a moment and understand how do you feel? How do you feel when you're winning, when you're accomplishing everything that you desire? How do you feel? How do you walk? How do you talk? What kind of car are you driving? How are you dressed? Visualize yourself there. Bring that to this moment right now. So, all right. Everybody, just take a deep breath. If you, if you could put your hand over your heart, just take a deep breath. And hold it at the top. Hold it at the top. Hold it at the top. And let go. And I want you guys to just be grateful for that heart beating in your chest. And I want to thank you guys for making it into this conversation today. You guys can all open up your eyes. Obviously, if you're driving, I don't want you to close your eyes because I see a couple of you guys you know, driving out there. So drive safe. All right. So now we're going to get into the goals. And as every single week, I tell you guys, you guys got to read your goals twice a day, every day, twice a day, every day. And our goal as a company is to serve 21,000 families, is to do over 10 billion in production and to grow an organization to 10 thousand agents all over the world. So I just want to acknowledge you and thank you for being part of our movement and also get clear guys, write it down, read it twice a day because the reticular activating system is going to be seeking out those opportunities. So now I'm going to step into the local market and then I'm going to go into some a quick, quick little national statistics that I found that were relevant that I wanted to share this morning. But you know, how's the market? So I'm going to go into just the local market here. The weekly market update in the last seven days, we had 1,200 properties in LA. We had 343 in Orange County. We had 475 in San Bernardino, 584 in Riverside, and 485 in San Diego. That means that people sat down and signed listings, right? So there is opportunities for you to sign listings every single day. There's opportunities for you to guys open escrow every single day. There's opportunities for you to receive wires in your bank account every single day because the market is there. The market is there, right? I mean, we see all of this. And you also, I don't highlight this enough, but look at the expireds. We also had 146 in LA that didn't that they actually didn't get to sell, right? We had Orange County, we had 39. San Bernardino, we had 67. We had 75 in Riverside. And San Diego, we had 82 properties. So that's a market that you guys can obviously go after there. So what does that mean? And just these five markets... 2.9 billion closed, 2,856 uh, 2, homes closed in the last seven days, 72 million in commissions paid. 72 millions in commission paid, guys. That's a lot of business right there. The other thing, um, this is, th and I want to just give a shout out to EXP California because there is 13,000 brokerages in California. 13,000, guys. We are number one out of 13,000 firms. We've done in the last 12 months, 10 billion in production, uh, 13,773 transactions. That's what we did here in XP California. So just want to give you guys a uh, context of where we're at. And as always, if you guys did, did your own market update last week, because I shared this last week as well, make sure you guys take note of this, scan the screen. And this is a QR code. We We also sent this out via email. But just so you guys could make sure that you guys do a market update. That way you guys can keep your clients informed with what is happening. It takes you no longer than four minutes and you guys can use it in, uh, you know, from directly from the MLS. This stat I went over last week. Um, I think I might have said this last week. Actually, no, this, is, this looks very similar. But we have a 14 year straight uh, a years in average below the, the average, right? So one of the biggest re reasons inventory is low is because builders haven't been building enough homes in recent years, right? So th there's a lack of, of people building homes. So this is an opportunity also for you guys to think about like, how could you create inventory in your marketplace? Because I got I got um, a gentleman out in Havasu that literally that's what he did. You know, if you guys know Eric Adalia, he literally is creating his own inventory in Havasu. That's what he's doing. He partnered up with developers and builders and is literally creating inventory. So think about, think outside the box. Who do you have access to that you can connect with where you can partner up with a developer and create inventory, right? That's an idea there. Um, so interest rates, right? Um, this is another one that we went over. Um, interest rates again, right? This is why a lot of people are, are holding on to their homes, guys. But this is not a reason why they can't sell because there is a lot of people that are also listing their properties as we can see. So the thing is that you guys got to get in tune with what is happening as far as their motivation. That is the most important thing, their motivation. 
So this is another one from Realtor.com. So while inventory continues to be short in supply, August witnessed an usual uptick in new listing and homes compared to July. Okay, so there's more people that are, you know, hitting hitting the market. There's more people that are listing properties. And why not that be you, right? And again, a, a stat that I shared in the past, this is really important. 65% of people that have actually spoken to a real estate professional that knew the information actually decided to sell their home after they spoke to a professional. So don't underestimate yourself and the power that you have. You need to get on the phones, guys. You guys need to connect with people and let them know what's actually happening with the market. So last week, we talked about activating your superpowers. That's what we talked about last week. So if you guys remember, um, to activate your superpowers, number one, you got to believe in yourself. The second one, you got to be consistent. That is the most important thing. Be consistent. Don't listen to anyone outside of yourself and let go, right? Let go of limiting beliefs. Let go of what didn't happen or let go of the lack of inventory, quote unquote. Let go of all of the things that you are using as a reason not to be great and allow your inner genius to shine because every single one of you, and I know this for a fact, every single one of you has a unique ness within yourself that makes you different so radiate that energy outwardly into the marketplace that way you can magnetize the people that are like you that want to work with you and they say you know what that person is just like me i want to work with this person because people do business with people they like know and trust the more that you do that up front the more that you put yourself out there the more that people can find you so what's next what's next Right before I, I talk to you guys about the multiple pillars to win big, I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple of reasons why you may not be winning. Right, these are like the top nine reasons of why you may not be winning. Number one, there's a lack of focus on lead generation. There's a lack of focus on lead generation, guys. Every single day, our only objective is to talk to buyers, talk to sellers, and negotiate contracts. Talk to buyers. Talk to sellers and negotiate contracts. Every single day, we got to do that. So the number one reason why you may not be winning as, as much as you can be is because it's a lack of lead generation. Number two, right? And I know nobody in this room, but you may be a secret agent. You may be a secret agent. You're a real estate agent. So you got to put yourself out there. Number one above everything. And this industry that you signed up for, you may have known this, but you are a marketing company. You are, you are, uh, you're a public figure. You cannot be a secret agent in this industry, right? So you may not be taking your unfair share of the marketplace because you're being a secret agent. You may not be posting on social media. You may not be you know, doing enough activities, but you got to let people see you. Number three, the reason why you also might not be winning is because you're not nurturing your leads. You're not playing the long-term game. I see a lot of people, this is probably one of the biggest ones in your funnel that people miss, right? They, they, they talk to somebody and they say, you know what? I want to sell in the next three months. I want to sell in the next six months. I want to sell in a year from now. And what happens? The average person stops following up and forgets about that individual. And when you remember, finally, like, oh my God, this person said that I wanted, they wanted to sell in six months. You call them up. And I know this for a fact because I've done this mistake. It's the worst feeling in the world when you call somebody and they're already selling the house. They're already on the market. They already closed the escrow. It's the worst feeling in the world. So don't be that agent, right? Nurture your leads, guys. Like, you know, these customers are depending on you to be a professional and they're going to connect you yourself as a professional. How, how, how often you, you follow up and ask them, right? Don't. Don't assume that like you should follow up with them every month or every week. Ask them, hey, how often should I stay in touch with you? Oh, you know what? Call me once a week. They will tell you if you ask them. But I believe that a lot of people are afraid because they might get an answer that they can't handle for some weird reason, which is made up, guys. There's no such thing. You guys got to serve as many customers as you possibly can because you got to really believe this in your heart that you are the most qualified to serve them to buy and sell real estate. So nurture those customers. Number four, not enough calls. You're not making enough calls. Like that's the, no the number four reason of why you might not be taking your, your market share right now because you're not making enough conversations, right? There is a magical device. It's called a phone. That phone just doesn't receive calls. It has the ability to do outbound calls, right? So make outbound calls to the people that you want to be in business with. And I, we went over this last week. 
you know, there's a lot of you that have a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, or more contacts in your cell phone right now, and you should be having conversations with them. I spoke to somebody that actually took action over the weekend, and this person actually made made a few calls and actually did, I think, 40 text messages, 40 text messages to his customers on his cell phone. With 40 text messages, he ended up picking up seven listings, seven listings from his cell phone. You guys are sitting on gold, guys. Like literally, you guys are sitting on gold. And reason number five, why you might not be taking an unfair share, you're not focusing on lead conversion. Right. You're, you're not you're not focusing on that aspect of it. Right. Because if you're getting inbound traffic and you guys are making calls and you guys are doing the activities, but you're not converting, then this is a time for you to reflect and say, you know what? I need to up level my skills. Right. I just didn't wake up one morning and start to do what I've been what I'm doing now. I was terrible at speaking in front of the camera. I was very uncomfortable on speaking in front of stages. I was very uncomfortable doing presentations when I was listing homes. I was very uncomfortable many times. But when I was uncomfortable, my mind went to say, you know what? I'm uncomfortable because I'm not prepared. I'm comfortable right now because I'm prepared. I already prepared this conversation for you guys. I know what I'm going to be talking about today. So if you're not converting, it might be a lack of preparation on your side. Prepare. Make sure that you... You have all of your information ready before you actually go to the appointment. If you're meeting with a buyer or a seller and you're not prepared, they will feel that energy. They will feel you not being prepared. Re reason number six, there's a lack of lead generation, which is 100% spot on. I've talked to you guys about this every single every single week. And I tell you guys, do the 21040 model, two appointments a day, 10 appointments a week, 40 appointments a month, right? Lead generation. You need to do outbound. Every single morning. I like to do my lead generation in the morning, by the way. From 8 to 12, guys, that should be your domain to crush it in lead generation. You should be doing outbound contacts in the morning time. Own the morning. Reason number seven, there is a lack of accountability, right? Who knows about your goals? Is there somebody that is committed to your goals? And uh, does somebody else know other than you? Because if you're the only person that knows your goals and you're not sharing it with anybody else, you probably are performing way under what you're supposed to be doing. The reason why I continue to perform, guys, is because I have accountability. Where's my accountability group is here. I need to show up constantly, right? So who do you need to show up for? That may be your family. That may be your loved ones. That may be your friends, your colleagues, right? Find one person that's going to commit to listening to you, to your goals that won't let you off the hook. You said, you know what? You said you were going to do X amount of contacts. You said you were going to do two open houses this week. You said you were going to knock on doors, right? So where's the accountability? If you want more production, create more accountability, positive pressure. And this is another thing, right? What if you're closing deals and you're not following up? You don't have a system after you close a transaction. You're also might be losing on a ton of business by not just doing this one thing. You guys have a wonderful platform here, by the way, at eXp, it's called KV Core. You guys should be using that as a very high level. But also, after the closing, create a system, create a process, stay in touch with those customers because those customers are most likely gonna go refer you with more people. A lot of people that I talk to right now, they're like, oh my God, I'm getting most of my business from my sphere of influence. Lean in on it, right? But also after the fact, you guys gotta talk to people after the fact. A lot of people are failing and not growing their business right now because they're not treating it like a business. You think it's like, oh, you know what? It's just, if I get a buyer, if I get a seller, maybe it's, it's okay, maybe not. But you got to show up to it every single day. This is your store, right? Like you got to think about yourself like a, as, a, as, a, as a restaurant business or as a Starbucks, guys. Like a Starbucks, you can rely every single day that you can go there at 4 a.m. in the morning and there will be somebody at that window taking your coffee order every single day. So I want to ask you guys a question is, are you reliable like that in your business? Can somebody think about talking to you and say, you know what? I can pick up the phone and call, call Leo right now. I can call Andre. I can call Tammy. I can call somebody right now. And that person's going to pick up the phone. That's how you want to think about it. You want to treat your business like a business. And also 
audit your business because you may think that your business is coming from a different, like you're like, oh my God, I'm just getting this business. Sit down and actually think about where your business came from. Was it via an open house? Was it your SOI? Start to measure the things that work for you uniquely because that's going to be your recipe for success. But a lot of people don't do that. So start to look and measure because how fun would it be? Like, guys, like, let me ask you guys a question. You guys engage with me in the chat. How fun would it be if you guys are playing basketball or watching, a, actually watching a game of basketball or watching a game of soccer? What if there was no score? Nobody was keeping score. There's just a bunch of people that are running left and people running right. How entertaining is that game for you if nobody is keeping score? Would it be fun for you guys? Would it would the game be fun if you're not keeping score? Yeah, Andre, thank you so much. It would be boring. It would be pointless. So let me ask you guys the next question. Why do you guys do that with your real estate business? Why do you guys do that with your real estate business? Why do you guys not keep score? You guys got to keep score. You guys got to know where you're at. You guys got to know which is your, your like three-point shot. And you guys got to perfect that three-point shot. So now let's move into... How do you actually win with multiple pillars? I'm going to give you guys a couple of different pillars that I am seeing that people are leaning in that you guys should be applying, incorporating into your business. And I really believe that you need at least five different pillars in your business for you to be really successful because you cannot rely on just one pillar. What happens if you put all your eggs in one basket? When that basket is gone, all of your business is gone, right? That happened to a lot of my friends that were REO brokers. In 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, when their REO account went, guess what happened to their business? It went to zero. There were celebrities. They were crushing it. They had 100 listings on their inventory. The moment that the market adjusted, that REOs went away, their business went to zero. So you got to understand that you have to have multiple buckets. You can never rely on just one source of revenue, one source of lead generation. So number one, you guys all know this as well right? It's your SOI. Like this is the most basic one, but how many of you guys are actually maximizing your SOI? Your past clients, your sphere, anybody on your contacts. Like this is something you got to hit daily. Make it a strategy and incorporate it into your calendar that you guys are speaking to your SOI every single day. Your SOI should also receive an email from you with the market update. Your SOI should be keeping you top of mind because if people can't think about you when they think about real estate, you're not doing enough, enough of a good job of marketing yourself and you're putting yourself out there. The second pillar, open houses. I built my business on open houses. I got so sick and tired of being broke. One day I was like, you know what? I'm and I, and honestly guys, I didn't have I didn't have enough money to buy even open house signs. I didn't have enough money to print fly, flyers. I didn't even have my own listing to do open houses. I barely had enough money to put you know, gas in my tank and I could barely keep my cell phone on. But what I did is that I said, you know what, I'm gonna do open houses. And what did I do? I found somebody with the listing, I borrowed somebody's signs, and then I literally printed out some flyers from the office, right? And I went to my open house and that's what I did. And I made myself a promise. This is what I, this is what I did to make me successful and to crush it in production. I made myself a promise. I said, this is never happening to me. This is never happening to my family. And I promise that I'm gonna do open houses until I become successful. That was the promise that I did. And I said, I'm gonna do open houses, not only Saturday and Sunday. Most people think that open houses are only available Saturday and Sunday. Guess what guys? I was doing open houses Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I did that every single day until I became successful. And contrary to the belief, you would have thought I would have been it became successful within 30 days, two months, three months, four months, five months. It took me six months to close my first transaction. It took me six months. Every single day I wanted to quit. But I did it every single day every single day. And from that, from one open house, probably like the last day I was going to quit. This was like on a Sunday. It was the ugliest open house. And I remember going into this open house. I didn't want to go, but I remember the promise that I made to myself and I did it. I showed up, I met a client and I followed up with everybody just like I typically would. I followed up with this one guy. That one guy said, I have properties to sell. I had never taken a listing, went to sit down with them on the listing appointment. I prepared myself. I showed up. I talked to him for two hours. I walked out of that 
listing appointment with three listings signed. And that one customer ends up being my customer for the next six and a half years. And I sell over 600 properties for this guy. 600 properties for just one client from one open house. Okay, so why am I sharing this with you guys? You guys are one conversation, one call, one text, one Instagram. You guys are one conversation away from massive success, from completely changing everything. But you got to think big, guys. You got to be playing a bigger game. Door knocking is another strategy. By the way, I, I recommend you guys do all of these strategies together, right? Your SOI, you got your open house, now you got your door knock. I would door knock all of the properties around my open house, right? You can tell them, hey, we just listed a house. Hey, we just sold a house. Hey, I got a buyer that's looking for the specific listing. And then easy door knock is inviting them to an open house. That's like super easy. You can just say, hey, I'm doing an open house Saturday and Sunday. Hey, I'm doing an open house later today. And I wanted to invite you as a neighbor. Do you know anybody that wants to move into this neighborhood? Right? All of these strategies work together side by side. So that's another pillar. Phone prospecting. One of my favorite strategies. This is something I would do every single day for about four to five hours every single day. And this is what get, kept me busy. Guys, there's a lot of noise right now happening happening right now, which I will share in, in an upcoming training about the buyer commissions, right? You guys are seeing this stuff everywhere. You guys are seeing that the commissions for buyers are not going to be negotiable. So we're going to actually have somebody who's going to come and speak about that. But if I was you, I would be leaning in on listings more than ever. We all should be leaning on listings more than ever all the time, but now more than ever. So what I would do with phone prospecting, because this was something that no matter if I had an open house, no matter if it was raining, no matter if it was 110 degrees outside, no matter what, I was able to get on the phone with my headset in front of my computer, ready every single day and call, make phone calls every single day. You guys need to make more calls. So I would call around a listing and I would say, hey, we just sold a property at a record price. Do you know anyone else that might be interested in selling? I have more buyers. That's what I would say. That was my pitch. And every single time I would probably get a, like a no. And sometimes I would get a maybe. And sometimes I was like, oh my God, I was just talking to my wife about selling my house. You called me at the perfect time, right? So you get lucky because you do it consistently. So you can call a neighborhoods and just sold, just listed guys. And you guys are probably going to ask me, where do I get the numbers? Every single title company that you guys have around you has phone numbers, guys. Talk to your title rep. If you guys can afford to sign up for a platform, you guys can sign up for a platform called ColeRealtyResource.com. That was a platform that I signed up for where I would get unlimited cell phone numbers in any neighborhood, anywhere. You can call about, you know, hey, I got a buyer that's desperate to buy in this neighborhood. Do you know anybody that wants to make a move? Right, that's an easy one. A cash buyer. Hey, I'm a cash buyer in the area. Do you know anybody that wants to sell their home fast for cash? Right. Every single one of you is a cash buyer, by the way. There's plenty of people, including myself, that are wanting to buy properties. You guys are all cash buyers. You guys can call with that strategy easily. Call expireds, right? We went over expireds for sale by owners. Talk to your title company. Talk about equity, divorce, foreclosure, right? There's been 187,000 foreclosures in the first six months of this year that have been filed. That's a market you guys can tackle, NODs. And people specifically that have been living in their home for nine years plus. Just make phone calls, guys. And social media, another pillar. You guys should be doing this. I'll put, hey, Tisha, thank you so much. I'll, I'll be dropping the, the website, Cole Realty Resource. Cole, C-O-L-E, Cole Realty Resource. Social media. Guys, secret agent. Secret agents are not uh, posting on social media. So don't be a secret agent and get yourself on social. I, I'm telling this to everybody right now because you guys see me. I'm doing two videos every single day. If I could do two videos every single day, you can do two videos a week. You guys could. I'm still managing 40 to 50 appointments a week and I'm still doing it. So don't tell me you don't have the time. That's a good story, but that's not true. Is it really true? Do you not have time? You could cut off some Netflix. You could cut off, you know, just maybe taking an extra hour of lunch, right? You could condense your time and be extra intentional. So on social media, guys, do property tours, testimonies. You just served a buyer, a seller. You did something pretty amazing. You, you wowed the customer. Get a testimony. Those are the easiest ways for you to share on social media that people also will say, you know what? That's a trustworthy individual. Just listed in escrow, a market update. 
And also find out in your, in your sphere of influence on your social media, if somebody is posting a story, click on their story, find out what they're doing. If they're at lunch, if they're, they're celebrating, whatever they're doing and send them a video message and send them a direct message and say, Hey, Andre, I just saw that you were at dinner with some family. Where's my invite or do something clever like that to connect and engage with the person, send them a direct message. And did you know, right? That's, those are like easy videos. Did you know that you only need half a percent down to buy a house? Did you know that blah, X, fill in the blank. And if you're, if you're thinking right now, like, I don't even know what video to create. You guys all know about AI by now. And you guys know that ChatGTP can give you guys scripts for a hundred videos in less than 10 seconds. Like seriously, you guys can do that. And talk about loan products, by the way. Talk about loan products that are hot. Talk about the down payment assistance programs. Talk about self-employed borrow programs. One of the things that I did to generate a ton of buyers, I knew down payment assistance products. And what I did when I was working with buyers, I was like, you know what? You can buy a home with 1500 down. I did that. And I would put bandit signs everywhere. I flooded every single freeway exit. I put it on billboards and I would get 40 to 50 buyers every single month. Not every single person would qualify for that, but I would get inbound traffic, inbound calls. You guys are a marketing company first. Another pillar, KV Core, guys, email blast, text blast, Facebook ads, Google ads. This is an easy one for you guys to do because everything is a click away. You can do an email blast with a click. You could do a text blast with a click. You can do an, a Facebook ad with a click and you could do a Google ad with a click. You do not need to be an expert at any of this stuff. KV Core automatically does it for you guys. And if you guys are saying, well, how do I use KV Core? Guys, there is a class on KV Core that eXp is hosting every single day. There is more trainings on KV Core probably than any other platform. So please, if you guys are wondering, how do I use KV Core? Tune into the class. There's classes every single day about this. So this is my recommendation, by the way. Do all of them. Do all of these pillars, right? Or, or choose your five, but have five different strategies of, of different pillars. Right. These are not all of the pillars, but I wanted to give you guys like the top five ones that I'm seeing that are working for people, but incorporate your variation of different pillars and do them every single day. And all of this should lead to daily appointments. Right. What's the evidence of your strategy working? Appointments are showing up every single day. That's how you know if what you're doing is working. I want to share with you guys a quick quote that was really powerful by Paul Mayer. Productivity is never an accident. It's always the result of a commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused effort. Powerful quote. Powerful quote. Right? It's not an accident. You guys are not going to trip over on productivity. You guys need to do this every single day. You guys need to pay your dues. You guys need to you guys need to do lead generation as, as much as you guys do everything else in life, right? You guys take a shower, most likely daily, right? You guys are brushing your teeth. These activities are doing are, are being done daily. So you're gonna have, you're gonna look nice and you're gonna, you know, have have good teeth if you do these activities every single day. So productivity is not an accident, guys. So don't think that, oh my God, I'm so productive right now. And you're like, oh my God, how did I do this? Right? Hope is not a strategy, intentional. The future depends on what you do today. The future depends on what you do today. Don't get caught up in the vision and the future, guys, and forget about today. Today is the most important day of your life, today. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next year. Today is the most important day of your life. Don't second guess yourself about that. There's a there's a hand. Hey, Layla, how you doing? I think you had a question. Go ahead, my friend. Hey, it's Leah. Hi, Leo. Thank you so much for uh, this. I actually saw on Instagram you're doing this, and I'm hooked now. Uh, do you do this every Monday? Every Monday at ten o'clock, my friend. Okay. Let's go. My quick question is: um, so I don't know if you can hear in the background, but I have a lot of kids, and um, ten to be exact, and I want to be able wow. to these calls, but I want to get a headset. I want to invest in a good headset where it blocks out is there any headsets that are out there that blocks out the background noise so i can yes. make these 100 percent. congratulations on being a super mom by the way so thank one you. thing i will say there's this headset that's called blue parrot you can actually just google blue parrot that's the headset that i would use and it's really cool because it 
I would call before in a like in a bullpen. Like I got feedback from some customers one time. They're like, this sounds like Wolf of Wall Street here. Like, what's going on? Like, you guys are making phone calls. And I'm like, yes, we are actually. Right. But it, it wasn't it wasn't really professional. So the blue parrot does the noise cancellation. So that way the customer doesn't hear any of the feedback on the outside. So that's what I would say. Blue parrot. Yeah. And James Fistini said he uses AirPods and blue parrot. Yes, absolutely. So those would be the ones. Thank appreciate you so much for your question. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being here, by the way. You're invited every single Monday, my friend. All right. All right. Cool. So now I'm going to go into an EXP update, right? Showing you guys what our company did as far as valuation. We're at 2.6 billion in market cap and we're $17.40 in, in, uh, in uh, each share. So congratulations to all of you shareholders, especially for those of you that are in production because you guys are getting stock when you guys do your deals and you're also getting stock as an icon agent, right? Ryan, in the beginning of this conversation said, I'm going to go for icon. You guys all should be striving for icon. That's a gift of $16,000 in this company. It's huge. It's life changing. And uh, quickly, I just want to acknowledge Ms. Terry Rincon, right? Everything you guys see, you guys get the text alerts. You guys get the email alerts. You guys are getting all of this, all of these connections. I want to give a huge shout out to Ms. Terry. Make sure that you guys connect with her as well, right? If you guys are introducing somebody to the company that's new, right? Yeah, everybody give thanks to Terry on the chat. Let's go. Let's blow up the chat. If you guys are introducing a new agent, make sure you guys connect with Terry. That way they can have that world-class experience, right? They feel like, okay, I know where to go for all my systems. I know go where, where to go for training. I know where to go for the broker support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at Terry getting all the love. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Awesome. Moving on. Now, the some powerful trainings this week, guys. Powerful training. So number one, Mr. Gabe Mendez did a training last week that was absolutely fire on sales and marketing. So he went into one hour of like massive value and he ran out of time. So he's doing a sales and marketing class part number two. If I was you, I wouldn't miss this class. It's going to happen Wednesday at 10 o'clock via Zoom. And if you guys are going to ask me, where do I go for this? You guys should have received an email already with the invitation. So make sure you guys check your email with the invite and you will get a text with an alert as well. If you guys are not getting our alerts, by the way, if you're saying like, wait a minute, I'm not getting text alerts or I'm getting email alerts. Make sure you guys contact Terry and she'll make sure to add you guys to our systems. That way you guys are getting everything. Also, conversation number two about global. Last week, we had the opportunity to interview Michael Valdez. This week, we're going to be interviewing Mr. Brent Gove. So the first conversation with Jasmine and Joseph and myself was absolutely powerful because we were talking about what's going to happen in global, where we're going, and we're going to be interviewing one of the biggest leaders that has built agents, agent and, and, and market share all over the world, every single state and every single country. So this is going to happen this Friday at uh, one o'clock. Also, if you guys want a live event, this is going to be in Long Beach, California, right? This is a live event. I want to make sure I'm clear about this. I got people here from everywhere. They're going to be like, wait, not on Zoom. Live event on a yacht. Uh, this is going to happen in Long Beach. Mr. Joseph Trujillo, Rosie Rodriguez, and Tristan Omada are going to be hosting a yacht soiree, Havana Nights, September 22nd from 6 to 9.30. This is going to happen this week. So invite all of you guys. One other thing. Thank you, Ms. Terry, for dropping into the chat. One other thing. EXPCon is coming up October 2nd through the 5th. You guys all should be signed up for EXPCon. And if you guys are not, this is my recommendation. Once again, get to I get to EXPCon. There, one, one key reason of why you guys should be on EXPCon is to get your certification with Revenos. Revenos is the lead generation platform that's going to give you give you four different opportunities for you guys to be able to generate leads without paying for them up front, but they're going to be partnerships. So this is a big, big platform that you guys can get certified for at EXPCon. So we're going to be going into our mortgage update with Mr. Neil Anders. And then I got one more slide and then we're ready to go, guys. So Mr. Neil, what's going on, my friend? Give us our mortgage update for the week. Hey, thank you so much, Leo. I appreciate it. Uh, big week this week, guys. It's the Fed week. They are meeting, kicks off their two-day meeting starting tomorrow uh, with their rate hike decision and statement being released on Wednesday. Now, we do believe the Fed will pause at this meeting. But what's really important is the comments that uh, they're going to make. We want to really be listening to that. Obviously, the Fed holds the key to lower rates. The big question is, you know, are they going to pause, 
you know, pause for good, not just are they going to pause, but when are they going to start to actually cut rates is what's really important for us to ask. Now, mortgage bonds and stocks are lower to start the day on the heels of the Fed's announcement, but it's not so much about the announcement. It's more so a news article that was released. If you happen to catch it, the Financial Times article on the front page was a breaking down the Chicago School of Business survey. It comprised of 40 economists. They had a very hawkish tone, 90% believing the Fed still has more work to do. Their forecast didn't come out. These guys don't have a vote. It's just a, an article that came out, but the bond market didn't like that article. And so now we're down a little bit to start the day. Uh, I want to show you guys some good news, though. And I'm glad, so glad we put up this first slide. I think you guys are going to find this really interesting. We take a look at this slide. What this represents is the pink line is the 10-year Treasury note yield, whereas the blue line is the Fed's, Fed's, the Fed's rate that, that uh, we trade at. And when you see there that highlight, that's every time that basically the Fed pushing that rate up has kind of assisted in pushing our country into a recession. And what's really interesting, guys, is you, know, you see the Fed tends to operate in extremes. They're, they're too accommodative when the economy is good, increasing inflation to rise. But on the other hand, they can be too tight for way too long, causing a recession. So take a look at this. It's really interesting. It's above the, the, Fed, funds, the Fed funds rate right now is at 5.5%. Now, that's above the 10-year Treasury yield. Guys, that's only happened, if you want to go back to that previous slide, that's only happened four times in the last 40 years. What you can see every single time that that Fed funds rate actually goes higher than the 10-year Treasury note, we go into a recession, then here comes the Fed trying to save the day, overcompensate, and drive that rate very low, thus bringing down the 10-year Treasury note yield and mortgage bonds as well. We've seen every time that's happened, highlighted in those reds. Now, this most recent time, here's what's amazing is look at the amount of separation. The Fed has been way too aggressive in pushing their Fed rate, which think about, doesn't even make sense that the Fed rate overnight for keeping your funds in the bank overnight has come at a higher rate than the compensation for keeping your money in 10 years locked up into a bond. Just doesn't make sense. That does tend to think that good things are going to happen as every time that's occurred, the Fed has countered with coming down very aggressively. Again, home prices remain strong. If you look at that last uh, slide, it does show all the data continue to show house prices strong. Zillow just released theirs at 0.2%, which means they are on track for 7% appreciation this year. So things are looking strong. Keep your fingers crossed for great news coming out of the Fed meeting this week. Thank you so much, Leo. Thank you, my brother. I really appreciate you bringing that fire information. And go ahead and contact Neil for any of your loan scenarios. So he'll, he's going to drop his information in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, just, a, just a reminder, guys, Mr. Michael Ayala, he's with Five Diamond Credit. So right now, guys, as I was talking about, you guys should be building your multiple pillars in your business. Do not turn any customer down because of credit. Right? Talk to them. Even if they tell you, hey, my credit is not there. Talk to them. Have a conversation with them. Be respectful. Be mindful. Because what's the worst thing that could happen? You you know, somebody calls you and says, hey, I want to buy, buy. And they share with you. And they're vulnerable with you. And they tell you, hey, my credit is not quite there. And then you say, oh, you can't qualify. And you just hang up on them. That's terrible. Right. So make sure that if they, somebody's trusting you with their confidential information, honor them, give them some time, share with them what, what solutions could be done, and then introduce them to someone like Mike. And in you know, two to three weeks, a month at the latest, they can really turn around their credit profile. So those are the those are the updates and the conversation for today. I just now want to open it up as I always do here towards the end. And this is an opportunity for all of us to declare our goals. Mr. Mike is also going to be dropping his information here into the chat as well. Make sure you guys contact him for anybody that you guys may need to get qualified or anything like that. But let's open it up uh, and let's declare some goals. What are you guys creating this week? Accountability. Let's go. All right. Who's first? Feel free to raise your hand, put it in the chat, or just unmute yourself. Go for it. Accountability. All right. I'll go first, Leo. Mr. Mr. Gabe Mendez with the tie and everything. Let's go. What's Let's going go, on, bro? Man. Happy Monday, hey. brother. So um, this week, I am committed to getting two offers accepted. I'm committed to getting one new listing signed. And I, uh, the other two items, I'm committed to eating healthy, working out five days, and drinking water this week all day. And the last item is I'm committed to uh, recruiting 
one team and their team into uh, EXP under uh, my organization, my personal recruit, not a recruit of a recruit. Let's go. Clear, precise. And look at this man. He's ready to go. You think if he gets a call right now, hey, can you come and list my house? You think he's ready? Absolutely. And that's what you guys want to do every single day. So thank you so much, Mr. Gay. Appreciate you. Who's next? All right, Ms. Ms. Leah, go for it. You got your hand raised. The kids are coming right now, so you're going to hear my background. I'm just committed. I'm committed to getting that blue parrot. I'm committed to finding an accountability partner to hold me to my goals. Uh, I'm committed to working out again and running every day like I used to. And uh, I'm committed to being back here on Monday. So thanks Yay. so much. Yay. Awesome, awesome. And hope to see you on Wednesday, too, for the other call as well. So thank you so much for declaring your goals. And you're going to love the blue parrot. Thank you so much for sharing. All right, all right. Who's next? I'll to declare the goals. Go I'll ahead, go Mr. Ivan. Yes, sir. Um, good morning. Um, I'm, AZ's I'm in the house. Come on now. Sure. Hey, so, let's um, give a huge shout out. Sorry to interrupt. Huge shout out to Ivan. He was on stage and crushed it last week. So I just want to give you a round of applause. He spoke at our showcase event last week. So sorry to interrupt. Go for it. Thank you, man. Now, I'm committed to getting those um, those lists from the title company so I can start pros prospecting and uh, speaking to uh, foreclosures and also people that have been in the home more than five years. So that's what I'm committed for this week and also getting a listing appointment this week too as well. Let's go. Awesome, my brother. Thank you so much. Appreciate you sharing. And then Amy Soundoval in the chat, she said two offers accepted, one new listing side, four buyer consultations, 50 calls, 50 texts, 50 DMs a day in the gym, three days a week. Awesome. Who's up next? Uh, I'm committed this week for our Friday class about going global. So that way uh, we can learn how to attract more real estate agents into our organization. And then I'm also committed to inviting more people this week to that global real estate class, at least 20 people from my sphere of influence, uh, just so they can go and, and see what it's all about, especially since Brent Gov's going to be there this Friday. Yeah. Awesome, my brother. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you sharing and your accountability and sharing our events, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Who's next? Who's next? I think Amanda and go ahead. I think, but I think Amanda is going to say, Amanda says she's going to get two clients showings under contract this evening, send out CMAs to all her past clients and get two consultations pre-approved today. All right. Who's next? Leo. Mr. Louis Chavez What's from up, Dallas. Man? Let's go. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, man, real quick. I want to tell you guys, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Great Monday. Let's kill it for the rest of the week. I got some REOs guys coming. Reach out to me. And I'm at the REO convention. I'm going to be speaking in about an hour and a half. Stay tuned, man. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Louie, for hopping on because I know you're in Dallas. He's at the five-star convention, by the way. And Mr. Louie and Gay Lynn also did an amazing event called Believers in the Marketplace, place, and it was life-changing, bro. So I just wanted to acknowledge you for that. Let's go. For being a leader, bro, and doing that powerful event. And Let's go, Leo. crush it on that yeah, stage, bro. Let's God go. bless you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who's next? Who wants to share their goals for the week? Or for today, right? Today is the best day. Demisha said, one new listing, one new buyer, one open house. Let's go. Awesome. Who's up next? Got a lot of you in here. Remember to be the driver of your business. Put yourself on the line. Share your goals. Hi, guys. Be the driver. Miss Crystal, Mr. Crystal in the house. What's going on? So my goal is to get my, two of my listings into escrow this week. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. All right. All right. Mr. Ivan said, yeah, be the driver, not the passenger. Come on, guys. Be the driver. Who's next? Who's next? I think I heard somebody unmute Jalen. I don't know if you unmuted yourself purposely or not. Feel free to share if you are. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Who's up sorry. next? <laughs> Anybody else? So, so what are you guys telling me? You guys are just gonna sit around this week and not create nothing, right? Come on, guys. What's up, Leo? What's up, David? How we doing, bro? Hey, man. The scared David. Get on, get, get, the get David. Get What's scared. going on? <laughs> <laughs> Being scared of getting on the camera, bro. Man, hey. um, goals this week is just make more contacts. To stop being a secret agent to all my friends and helping them uh, with accountability. Ivan, you, you already called it. 
I'm gonna hold you accountable, Ivan from Arizona. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you for being here, David. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, appreciate Thank you, you for sharing. Yeah. And yeah. like you said, right? We gotta get on camera, guys. This is the first breakthrough, guys, on this Zoom. If you guys are, if you guys can't even get yourself on camera here, it's gonna be really difficult for you guys to get on camera outside. All right, Mr. William Algarin said he's going to expand into the Dominican Republic. Let's go. Let's get it, my friend. Thank you so much. All right. Who's up next? Who's up next? We got a couple more minutes before we wrap up today. Goals for the week. Goals for the week. All right. I know I'm going to be drinking a gallon of water every single day. I'm going to be eating healthy every single day. I'm going to be hitting the gym at least six times this week. I am committed to having at least 20 new conversations every single day. I'm also uh, committed to attracting at least three new agents personally this week, right? Because everybody's keeping me busy. I'm doing appointments for everyone else in the organization, which I'm so grateful for. Uh, but that's my commitment for this week. And to live in gratitude, remind myself to be grateful every single moment of the day. All right. Who's up next? Who has their goals to share? Anybody else? Anybody else? Going once. Going twice. <laughs> All right. Sold. All right, guys. Let's create an amazing day. The the uh, the the replay will be sent out to you guys via text and email. God bless each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for sharing. And I will see you guys on the next training. Thank you, Leo. Thanks, Leo. Bless Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Leo. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Awesome, awesome.